Today we've got Aid Holderdale, he's a most sport journalist. <laughs> So to begin with, we're going to have Aid go out on our data logging car. He's going to put some laps in, see what sort of time he can get in these uh, tricky conditions. First time in the DMAX car as well. And uh, I'll go out and do a data lap myself, so we can sort of overlay the data, see where he's losing time compared to uh, what I'm doing. After that, we're going to a track walk. We'll uh, identify sort of three key main areas that we can work on. We'll do uh, lead and follow for those sessions where I'll be following him, seeing what he's doing, and a bit more on the uh, computer with the data logger as well. To begin with, the first session is going to be just a 10 minutes, so he can climatize himself to our carts to the, the track. In total today, we're looking at about three hours with the, the track time, with uh, the one-on-one -on -one tuition, the, and uh, also on the computer. At the end of the day, Aid's going to be taken away within the sort of his um, data overlays. His, um, we've also got a camera on the cart, the Smarty Cam, which provides GPS and also what he's actually doing on the cart as well. Good, good. A little bit nervous. Always, you know, be under scrutiny and stuff is always quite interesting, but really, really positive. Should be interesting with the uh, with the wet track as well. It's a brand I really like. And I like the outdoor track thing, and it's always been really cool coming here. There's so many sort of stuff that you go and do yourself, and nobody ever teaches you anything. So you read a lot of blogs and stuff. So it'd be quite nice to actually have a proper lesson. <laughs> I'm entering the D-Max Champs this year and really could do with a little bit of help before I start, basically, so I don't get completely destroyed. I'm going to go out there now and set a uh, data lap uh, so we've got a we can overlay age data over mine see where he's losing the time and uh, hopefully I won't spin it whilst I'm out there. Really good, really good. Cold and wet but those carts are absolutely amazing. Really really good fun. It's a lot more power, they actually accelerate like a car so you really feel like you put your foot down and it stays down and there's no way I was anywhere near top whack on the fast straight so there's plenty more there which is really cool. Managed to get one clean lap in so hopefully that will give some good data to have a look at. So what we'll do now is go on a track walk yeah, um, sure. one thing I noticed from watching to begin with are wet lines. Uh -huh. You'll save yourself quite a bit of time. Cool. Yeah, yeah I have no lines. idea yeah, what wet so, line is um, at all. Come in pretty much on the line, maybe just bits to the right hand side of it. Okay. But instead of sort of turning in around about here and clicking the apex, yeah. you're just sort of looking over there. Going down the middle, I'm sort of getting away with breaking just before those tyres on the right. Which tyres a lot of tyres. <laughs> the, the, the ones <laughs> with the light. The light box, yeah. box, box. Okay. And sort of not that light, but the set tyres before. Oh, good, okay, that's what I thought. That was that a bit late. late. No. <laughs> okay. Throwing off the corner, getting the cart nice and as straight as we can so we can start okay. beating the pound earlier. In terms of learning, massive change from what I was doing. Completely different. So I'm really excited to go out and, and try a completely different line on every corner. Again, starting to kick the throttle in a bit earlier and yeah. you know, to much greater effect again. Feeding the throttle all the way through six up towards seven. A uh, bit of a lock there as well. Yeah. So I'll start off behind you, sort of seeing what you're doing, how much yeah. you can remember. And then just casually overtake. And then, um, <laughs> so far, so good. Aidy's got uh, demonstrated good cart control. So we'll start off with uh, making sure those uh, wet lines are pretty much spot on. And then from there we can work on things like uh, his braking points, because he was braking and coasting. Uh, so we can work on that. And then from there we can also go into uh, allowing to get, being able to get the throttle on earlier. So that's really interesting. You should allow me to get on the throttle more. Um, hopefully being a bit more confident on the braking zones because I might be braking in the slipperiest bit of the track as well. So that's what we've got to go and try. Yeah, pretty much. There. Which means, you know, if you do that, you can't sort of point in that way. Yeah. Good. Taken half the instruction and probably ignored the other bit, I think. So I'm going nice and wide. Definitely shaved off three and a half seconds, which is great. Now I need to learn another turn in. So half the lesson done. Another hour or so to learn the other bit. There's no sort of dip where you've got... I'm definitely casing. Dip. I know I am, because I think when it's wet and it's slippery, you don't want to just slam the gas on halfway around the corner. 
So I need to just put a little bit on just to let the back come around and, and hopefully hit that apex. So I've got, I know, think I know where this the wet line apex is now. <laughs> just need to get there. Just picked the uh, first part of it up pretty well. I've managed to shave off just over just over three seconds. What we are going to work on a little bit is sort of the apex point. So at the moment, just keeping it a bit too smooth and arc through the corner. We want to try and square the corner off a little bit more, get the cart a bit straighter, which will allow them to bring in a bit more throttle a bit sooner as well. Brake a little bit earlier. Yeah. So what we're saying that slow in, fast out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exit speed's more important than entry speed. Yeah. You need to slow down a little bit more to get the apex right yeah. and do it because you get more speed out. Loads of time off, way more than I thought I would get off, actually. At least I've now driven a D-Max car, which is a really good start for a D-Max championship. It's given me a lot of confidence. I realise how much quicker they are, which is really enjoyable. That uh, actually makes them amazing fun. It's a better way to extend and enjoy your arrive and drive. So you turn up and you do the same thing every time you go to an arrive and drive, and maybe you speak to somebody and maybe they tell you to do one thing differently. If you come and do this, it will change your arrive and drive permanently. First quarter of an hour, I got one bit totally ignored the rest of the instructions, gradually drilled it down. Uh, it's been really, really good. I've taken off so much time. It's brilliant, really happy.